What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. Since I'm talking about Halloween ends again in this video here today. Going to be talking about John Carpenter's recent comments on the goal being for this film to end the franchise, at least for David Gordon Green's iteration in my opinion. And then also talking about Jason Blum's recent comments with Entertainment Weekly, where he stated that the first draft of this film that's coming out later this year should be ready in the next coming months. So Jason Blum had a sit down with Entertainment Weekly talking about the upcoming slate of films. I think I think this was mostly for Firestarter, honestly, this this interview. I'll leave a link to it in the description. And he got asked a question about Halloween, and he, just, he expressed that he had dinner recently with John Carpenter. The exact words that he decided to use there in this interview was that I had dinner with the great John Carpenter last night, and he was very happy, and I'm so excited we're getting to make a third Halloween movie, says Blum. So far, the shooting is going very well, knock on wood, and we'll have a cut to look at in two or three months. So again, with the film coming out in October as the slated release date still, it's not shocking. Again, this is very reminiscent of what happened with Halloween 2018, the shot earlier in the year. It had a smooth post-production process, had a fantastic debut at the Toronto Film Festival, and then had an even more successful debut at the worldwide box office when it grossed or outperformed what it was expected to do. So now we need to talk about what John Carpenter said in the interview with Comic Book. He said, "Let me explain how the movie business. Let me explain the movie business to you. If you take a dollar sign and attach it to anything, there will be somebody who wants to do a sequel." it will live if the dollar is not big enough no matter what it will not live and i don't know man i don't know this time i don't know they really want to end they're going to shut it off end it it's what david has in mind that's fine so again recently in the past i'm certain we've been told that this is what the plan is in regards to david gordon green and danny mcbride's iteration of this timeline within this franchise but jason blum in the past has expressed interest in returning to previous timelines i believe as well and just giving updates on what could be happening in other timelines if they were to make future movies i don't think that halloween ends will of course be the final nail in the coffin for this franchise would i like it to be in my honest opinion yes i would i am a big uh supporter of franchises going out in a blaze of glory and just leaving them untouched but again what john carpenter stated was about the dollar and that's really all it comes down to at the end of the day there is a section of us that care about quality over quantity, but within the industry, when it comes to making money off of movies, I really do feel that it is quantity over quality that is favored when you are bringing in so much money that a character like Michael Myers is able to do and still able to do 40 years later the way he has been doing for the past couple of years with the return of halloween with 2018 and how it outperformed everyone's expectations and then led to us getting a green light of two more movies within the iteration that david gordon green has in mind which will be coming to a close with halloween ends later this october so as far as what i could see happening next in the franchise i do think that they will explore future timelines in in the future uh, or old timelines in the future like going back to the uh jamie not the jamie but the uh jamie lloyd narrative with danielle harris perhaps or maybe doing a sequel to resurrection even though i think for a resurrection sequel to happen you might be tampering into or tapping into movies that are a little bit before the time periods that we're in now because i think that a resurrection sequel set so many years later is kind of pointless i think you should just set it like a year or two after the events of that movie so if we're we're still in the 2000s for a resurrection sequel then i think that's fitting than just making random sequels to some of these timelines and then pushing us out into the modern time that we're in right now just for the sake of you know saying it's in our current modern era when you can still put out movies today and set them in older older settings like if they do a sequel to halloween 4 and it's a grown-up jamie jamie lloyd then i would be more accepting of that but with resurrection if you go back to that timeline the halloween h2o timeline i'll say then i think you should only set it a couple years after resurrection it shouldn't be jumping all the way into the 2020s if we're even at that stage if they were to get to that point again it should just be set a couple years after resurrection and as far as like what jason blum said about the first draft being ready in a couple of months again uh, I, I've seen people say they think that's a little rushed. I don't think it's rushed at all. <laughs> if this is rushed and Halloween 2018 was rushed, I mean, that turned out quite fine. So if they're about to rush out a well-made movie that is going to be much better than Halloween Kills, 
then I'm all for it. I feel like this movie is going to be a lot more character driven. I feel like this movie will be tapping into more of us coming and spending time with these characters that we didn't really get to spend too much time with with Halloween Kills since it was so fast paced and so much fun but still with Halloween Kills it was a step in the wrong direction I said that in my my review for the movie still a fan of the movie still enjoyed it still liked it uh still will defend it but it still has a lot of a lot more problems compared to the 2018 film which feels a lot more complete and just a lot more on the right side of the fence versus Halloween Kills, which kind of gets, I would say, lost in its title that the narrative that it's trying to portray suffers. It's not as subtle. It's very forceful at times. And I'm all there. Social commentary in horror movies is nothing new. It's just that I would like to see a more subtle approach happen in Halloween Ends because I know I've seen stuff about the about what's going on today being factored into the movie from david gordon green and comments he made about uh factoring in our world and the current crisis we have factoring into the movie i don't think it's going to be directly about that this could be a case where haddonfield goes into isolation on halloween every year now because it's supposed to be four years later so who knows what type of protocols they have in place in that in that section of illinois as it relates to halloween because of michael myers but of course, Michael Myers won't be abiding by those protocols, <laughs> and we still don't know how the radio tower will be factoring, factoring in. So hopefully, if they do wrap this up with Halloween ends, the franchise stays gone for at least another five years at best. I want at least a five-year break for Michael Myers. I think that will be a good time away for the character. And then if you want to re-explore other things, you can. But then at the same time, I can see them just hot-shotting more movies out there if this movie coming out this October again exceeds expectations if they are making as much money as they did with 2018 then i think you'll get another michael myers movie in the next year or two or even the next three years it won't be a long hiatus away from him uh i hear what john carpenter saying he's he's correct but i think michael myers is here to stay this won't be the last time we see him it'll just be the last of this iteration for this timeline and i probably will prefer this timeline over anything else but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you have already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you want me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video